welcome back to my channel. Um, we went to the Dollar Tree. Jim and I went to two Dollar Trees. We went to the one in Washington, Missouri, and we went to the one in Sullivan, Missouri on the way home. And we got so much stuff that we had to break it up into three different holes. Um, if you watched already the Valentine's Day stuff, um, this is going to be uh, spring and garden and St. Patrick's Day. Um, and then the last haul will be everything that doesn't fall into any of those categories. It's just stuff. Just stuff. Um, also, I have, I guess this really garden isn't garden, but it is garden. Um, I picked up two of the 13 foot nautical ropes. Remember there's nine foot, 13 foot, and the nine foot is a lot thinner. So if you're interested in doing a project, pay attention to that. Um, if somebody's doing a DIY that you want to copy, make sure you pay attention to what size rope they're using. Um, also, we picked up a better flag holder. So we have an old one that just goes straight up on the end and we keep losing my flags. It's very disappointing. Jimmy bought me a really pretty red truck flag. It was burlap, it was from Wish, and it took a long time to get here. Yeah, and then it flew away. And he actually corked the end. We actually put a cork on the end and we still lost it. So I said, how about this one? And the way we have it is that the this will point towards the house. So even, I feel like even if it blew off, it would blow towards the house and not across the street, so. I mean, that's wishful thinking, who knows? Um, but it's really nice. It's a really nice little flag holder. Um, if you could take that back somewhere. I also picked up two of the large S hooks, plant holders. These are really good for DIYs. I have a, a chandelier that I made last year that I really want him to hang up. Um, but you know, he's giving me a hard time. <laughs> Give me a hard time. You, you are, you're like, I'm not doing too much work. Um, so I, anyway, I grabbed two anyway. Just these are good to have. These are good for DIYs. They're good for organizing too. So I picked up two. It's a two pack. So you pick up one two pack. Um, and then this was so excited that I didn't notice this before. And if there possibly have been like this forever, but I didn't notice it. So you guys know these buckets that we've had for a hundred years and they say flowers and garden, right? Well, I noticed today that they had floors and jardin, which is basically in French. So I was so excited. I don't know why it's little things. You know, my home is, I try to keep my home primarily French country farmhouse, sort of. And I thought that that was so appropriate. That's going to change too. So I, put, I picked out two. I picked out one of each. Um, and I also got some spring flowers. I got a whole bunch of spring flowers. So hang on, let me get them all out of the bag. I was excited that they had so many to choose from. Okay, maybe I can fix them up. I picked up one, they only had one lilac and they had one white lilac. They didn't even have any purple lilacs, but I picked up one of the white lilacs. This to me was interesting. I feel like I've never seen it before, but maybe I have and I actually used it and I'm old and I just don't remember. But this is actually called German, yeah, I feel like, I feel like I did use this before, German status. I feel like I used this on the hula hoop spring wreath. But I picked up two bouquets. Um, they do have these like little tiny flower, white flower buds on them. They look like flattened out sort of carnations, but they're not really carnations, but they're really pretty. So I was like, you know, you always use white accent flowers and things. It's um, a German wildflower. Yeah. I picked up some lavender. They had the lavender, they had one of the light purple lavender and that blossom, I have it, it just fell out in the bag. So always check to make sure you have something on all your, this one too. Well, make sure you always have the things on your stems. Make sure you get all your blossoms. Um, and then I picked up two of the dark purple. And again, that one of those blossoms fell out in the, in the bag. Um, so I picked up two of the dark purple lavender. And then I finally found one, just one, of the white lavender, which is kind of contradictory, doesn't it? White lavender. White lavender with a little bit of purple in it, by the way. Yeah, so, um, so I picked up that as well. Doesn't lavender come out uh, white before it turns purple? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm um, not a flower person. I picked up these two. They're obviously pu pussy willows, but they're calling them blooming bushes. Oh, I'm sorry, blooming branch. Um, but I just thought they were super cute. I And they had them in different colors, but I picked out the white. And again, these are just really good accent colors, uh, accent pieces for your floral arrangements. 
And then the, finally they had Heather and I picked out two, you know what, I don't have that. I thought that was the same stuff. The really long things that look like this, will you put them back for me? And I said, are these white or ivory? And you said ivory and I was like, oh, I already have ivory. That's a different flower. Oh. Womp womp. Sorry guys, it was just something I messed up. Um, so they had Heather and they had it in two and it does, it's, it's sort of like a creamy white. When it was next to the purple, it looked white white. But in, in real life, it's sort of a creamy white. And it sort of has this sort of grass with it as well. So we picked up two of those. And now on to St. Patrick's Day. So if you're not at St. Patrick's Day, bye. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but... Oh, I do. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no. You're okay. Oh, yeah, I do. I want to put them in there. And you can put St. Patrick's Day stuff in the glass. Okay. Okay. Um, first of all, I thought this was absolutely stinking adorable. It's called a shamrock crown. And I'm going to put it on for you. So I thought this was so lovely. Isn't that pretty? Now it is adjustable because it's tied together with a ribbon in the back, but I'm just gonna, I think you could probably wear it down too. Like really, I'm a drunk Irish girl. Party. But I just thought that was super pretty. It has got different color shamrocks on it. Um, and then that sort of like that tube mesh goes around the whole thing. But like I said, it is adjustable so that you, you know, if, you, if you're a person with an extremely large head, you know, you can really adjust it. I can wear it like a German lady. Why would I want to wear it like a German lady? I don't know. But I picked up that. <laughs> they had two boxwood signs, which I thought were super cute. This one says Luck of the Irish, and it is in this green and white, green and dark green striped background with white font. It's got a touch of glitter on the shamrocks, but not too much, which I really like because I'm not a real glitter granny girl. And this <laughs> one says Irish wishes and shamrock kisses. And again, this has the same kind of background and just a little bit of glitter on the shamrocks. I thought those were super cute. These I was so excited for. They had the chipwood shamrocks. Um, they have a jute holder, and um, I picked oh, up three. I picked up three of them. They also had a pot of gold. Now it doesn't have to be a different sizes. No. Oh, three different shapes. No, they're just ones backwards. Oh. Nope. So basically, it matches your personality. Right. Backwards. So this is a pot of gold, but it's not finished. So of of course it's going to be a Harry Potter cauldron. It's going to be the leaky cauldron. Um, but I just thought that was, I just thought that was super cute. Um, you can make it look like potion up there, like all bubbles coming out of the pot instead of pot instead of gold. And it's got double handles and feet, and it's so cute. And it's chipboard. And then the last I bought two of, I thought these were over the top over the top are these two wreath type banners. They have a separate uh, piece of wood right here that goes over the shamrock. Um, that is a banner that you can write whatever you want on there. Luck of the Irish, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Aaron Gobra. Aaron Gobra. Um, and I picked up two of them because I thought they were super dorbs. Totes to dorbs. And then just like the heart from yesterday, um, I found the chalkboard in the shamrock again try to shake off all the glitter you can at, at at the store but i feel like this shamrock is bigger than i feel like they had a, ch a chalkboard shamrock last year the year before and this one is much bigger okay. um it is it is really big so i picked up one of those and the last thing i got speaking of harry potter party they had five packs of cauldrons i guess if you're doing um like for your kids classes or whatever you can fill these with like the gold coins or little um you know non-edibles mm. like patrick's day stuff and they'd be really cute but there is a game where you take the 10 of them almost like you're setting up bowling pins and you just do like a like toss a little bowl in there it's just a cute game so i thought i might add that to my birthday party because when you're get 50 those, you could still be five get those uh chocolate filled gold coins yeah that's what i said right, right. that'd be good and that is everything from, right? That's everything from the garden? Okay. Uh, 
Garden St. Pat's, yeah. Yep, that's everything from the garden, spring, St. Patrick's Day stuff. Um, so hopefully you guys really enjoyed this haul. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Just a reminder, we got this stuff in two Dollar Trees in Washington, Missouri and Sullivan, Missouri over the course of the day. <laughs> so if you haven't yet, click subscribe. When you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 So sorry, I was supposed to stick this in the video yesterday, but these are the four different jars they have. Vacation fund, pizza fund, and that one says rainy day fund, which I thought was really sweet. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel.